Okay, what's up everybody? We are now talking about, uh, in this video, we're going to talk about a position time graph. And um, what we want to see here is when this is going to be fast, when it's going to be slow, when it's going to be speeding up, when it's going to be slowing down. All right, so how can we tell this from a position time graph, right? So this is kind of some complicated motion here. Um, remember, this is talking about position. So this line in the middle is the zero position line. So let's pretend that you are standing on this line. If you see this line going away, that means it's going forward, right? And if the, you see this line coming back down like this, it's getting closer and closer to you. Then it's going to pass you, go behind you, and get farther and farther away, and then closer again. All right, so um, I think the, the question, some of the questions you might be asked are, where is it going the fastest? All right, and let's talk about that. Um, in a position graph, you can't tell the, the speed just by where it is. All right, you have to look at how much is changing. So the thing that tells us how fast it's going is the slope. Uh, the steeper the slope is, the faster it's going. The less steep it is, the slower it's going. So just imagine that you're just a little person walking up this graph and then walking down. Where is it going to be the steepest? Where are you going to have the, the most trouble walking? And the answers are probably A, then between C and E, and then maybe again at G. All right? Those are going to be the steepest. So in real life, that's where this object's moving the fastest. Okay. Uh, so fast, to put F for fast. It's going fast right there, fast, fast. It's still going fast right here, and then it's going fast again here Okay, because the line's steep. All right, uh, and where would it be slow? Slow would be the opposite. It would be where the line is the least steep. So just imagine, once again, you're a little person. You're walking on this graph. Where is going to be the, f the easiest places for you to walk? Right? And the answers would be here at B. It's going to be slow. And in fact, at B, it's going to come to a complete stop. It's going to slow down, come to a complete stop, and then kind of start moving again. All right, and also at F right here, it's going to be slow. All right? Now, that means anywhere you go from F to S, it's going to be a slowdown. So here it's going to slow down because the line is getting less and less steep. All right? As we go down here, we're going from slow to fast. It's going to speed up. All right here, it doesn't change much uh, until we get here. From E to F, it's also going to slow down because we see the this, this slope is getting less steep. And between F and G, it's going to speed up because the line is getting steeper and steeper. All right, so uh, in trying to decide whether what the speed is, the key thing in a position graph is to look for the um, this slope. Okay, one other question that you might have been asked is where on this graph is it going to switch directions, right? Now, in a position graph, it's pretty simple. Wherever the line switches directions, that's where the object switches directions. So right here, it was moving forward. And here, it's going to switch and it's going to move back. right? And then at D, uh, a lot of people want to say that at D, it's, it's changing direction. That would be true if this was velocity, but it's not. right? At this point, uh, whatever line we're calling the zero line, Whatever point we're calling zero, that object is going to is going to move back towards it. It's going to pass it, and it's going to keep on going. So there's no change in direction right here. Okay, so there's a change in direction here. It's going to go from moving away to moving back. You don't get another change in direction until you get to F. It's moving this way, and now it's moving this way. Right. So those are the only two places where it actually changes direction.